It's once again a great joy to meet you in 2018. And I'm sure God was very faithful, you know, God was true and faithful to everything that he said and to everything that he did in 2017. And I'm sure God is the same and he is the same uh, who will be always with us, who will always lead us in the right path. You know, Psalm chapter 34 and verse 10 says like this, The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who wait on the Lord, those who seek on the Lord shall lack no good thing. You know, in, in this 2018, we need to do one thing. Seeking on God, even if you are going through tough times, seek God. Even if you are going through <coughs> troubles, still seek God. Whatever might be the situation, seek God. The lions grow, the lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. You know, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 says, Seek the Lord and all the other things shall be added unto you. Seek His kingdom, seek Him completely and all these things will be added unto you. Even as I, even as I begin, began this year, I was reminded of one verse. I'm reminded of one verse. When Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Philippi, Philippians chapter 3 and verse 12. Apostle Paul starts this verse like this. Not that I have already obtained it or have been made perfect. <coughs> not that I have obtained it or not that I have been made completely perfect. Another version says, not that I have already achieved everything. You know, we are not perfect people. We are not perfect people. Might be 20, we have not gone into 2018 with, a, with perfection. We, we still lack in many areas. There are, there are, there are. <coughs> there are many areas where we are still behind. We are not perfect. May might be, you know, there are many things that you have not achieved. Maybe there are imp imperfections. Things, things that we wanted to obtain, we haven't received it yet. There are so many areas where we are down, where we lack. But Apostle Paul writes, I have not obtained it. I have not completely achieved. I have not been made completely perfect. But still, I press on. I press on. Even if we are down and out, we need to know one thing, I still press on, I will still press on. <coughs> I will still keep following Jesus, I will still keep following God. Whatever might be the situation, I will still keep following Him, I will still keep continuing in my faith. You know, that is what Apostle Paul says, I have not obtained it, I have not achieved it, nor I have been made perfect, but one thing, I still keep pressing on. Pressing on to what? <clears throat> to lay hold of which Christ took hold of me. It says, I may lay hold of that for which Christ laid a hold on me. For the reason why Christ called me, to that reason, to that purpose, I will press on. I will press on to the purpose for which Christ has chosen me. You know, in 2018, God has called you with a purpose. God has kept you with a purpose. I press on towards that purpose. I go on towards this purpose. You know, you might be weak. There are so many things that you might lack. But one thing, let us press on. Let us press on. Let us press on towards that purpose. And I am sure the God who called you will lead you through. Will lead you through. You know, God, God told <coughs> Joshua, Joshua, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. God told Gideon, God told Gideon, go with the little strength that you have. You might be, you might be having just little strength. There are so much of weakness. There are so much of frailties. But there is one thing. I press on. I press on. I press on. I press on to the purpose for which Christ has called me. Christ has taken hold of me. And for that reason, for that purpose, for that call, I move on. In 2018, there might be a lot of sufferings. You might go through some terrible times. But one thing, let us press on. Let us press on for the purpose for which Christ has called me. And I'm sure, and I'm sure, when we press on for the purpose of God, the God with His complete hosts, with His complete angelic army, will back you up, will back us up to have a greater 2018 so that you and I will be more of God pleases than man pleases. In Jesus' name, I pray that we all will have a life of victory, a life in which among troubles we might grow, we might grow, whatever might be the situation, still we will thrive. Let us thrive even in difficult situations because I press on to the purpose for which God has called me. I have not been perfected yet. I have not achieved anything. 
but I press on to the purpose for which Christ has called me. Let us, let us press on so that you and I will have a greater future. In Jesus' name be blessed. Have a blessed 2018. Amen.